In this lesson, we will learn what are singular and plural nouns. Hello, Mom. Sam, what are you doing? Mom, I'm trying to solve a homework activity which my teacher gave me today, and I think I'll need a little support of yours. Can you please guide me how to do this activity? Sure, Sam. Tell me, how can I help you? My teacher gave me this book and some paper cutouts. She told me to stick all singular nouns on one side and plural nouns on the other side. To solve this activity, first, you need to understand the concept of one and many. Sam, come here and look out of the window. Can you tell me what can you see? I can see a girl looking out of her window with an apple in her hand and a bird sitting in its nest. Just a minute, Mom. Things have changed. Now I can see two girls. Each of them have two apples in their hands, and the mother bird is not alone. She has two chicks with her in the nest. So, in total, I am able to see two girls, four apples, and three birds. Sam, always remember. A singular noun tells us or talks about one person, place, thing, or idea. Whereas a plural noun tells us or talks about two or more than two persons, places, things, or ideas. We can change a singular noun to a plural noun just by adding s or es at the end of the word. The first time you saw out of the window, you told me that you could see a girl with an apple in her hand and a bird sitting in its nest. So, they are all singular nouns. The second time you told me that you could see two girls, four apples, and three birds. So, they are all plural nouns. Have you noticed that we have just added s at the end of their names to make them plural? Mom, can you please give me one more example? Sure, dear. I am going to give you two sentences, and you are going to identify the singular and plural nouns in them. Are you ready? Yes, Mom, I am ready. The first sentence is, John is wearing a hat. And the second sentence is, Wow, there are so many hats in the shop. Mom, in the first sentence, John is wearing only one hat. So here, hat is a singular noun. Whereas in the second sentence, there are many hats in the shop. So here, hats is a plural noun. You are right, Sam. I think now you can easily do your homework activity. If there is only one rabbit, then it is a singular noun. Whereas if there are two rabbits, then it's a plural noun. If there is only one boat, then it is a singular noun, whereas if there are two boats, then it's a plural noun. If there is only one book, then it is a singular noun, whereas if there are two or more than two books, then it's a plural noun. If there is only one flower, then it is a singular noun, whereas if there are two or many flowers, then it's a plural noun. Mom look, I have just finished my homework activity. Well done Sam, you have done a great job. Mom, your guidance really helped me, thanks a lot. If you like this educational interactive video, check out our complete range of educational digital course books. Visit our website at sfpublishers.net to discover more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon and select the option of all notifications. In this way you won't miss out any fresh upload of ours.